kennel open is always less pressure on a dog. Because if we're if we're facing the dog, right, a lot of force, body language, everything is on the dog. So if we gate open and we keep our body sideways, it redirects our energy this way and no eye contact, then you don't have to stare at the dog, you're not putting extra pressure on, and you can go in sideways and up. Easy. Now the dog's focused on leaving. I'm not focused on the dog, so it's not staring at me, like ready to go. If they have any extra pressure or any moment where it's like, oh, I feel over threshold, they're going to turn and go for it. The size of the handle is pretty much irrelevant if you get good placement. This is like what you would see at like, you know, show dogs, anything competition dogs. The higher, the slippery it is, the more control you have over the dog. So if you slip this on and it's up here, she can try what she's going to do, but it's going to feel very uncomfortable for her, not going to be inclined to pull very much. Your, like I said, your employee trachea, which is top third to center to down, the last bones here. And then you're avoiding collar because it usually will slide down and all this muscle. Why would you want to fight against all that muscle? So if you get up behind the ears where you can feel on most dogs, there's even those two yeah, those bones holes. just like on people. Yeah, it kind of just naturally falls in there. On dominant hand side for whatever hand. So I'm right handed, I want my strongest hand on the dog of the media. And I'm gonna be, you know, 18, 20 inches. Inside doorway, obviously you can see through those, you can see throughout here too, but you wanna check everything. So you don't know, a grooming dog got out something. So I always would look through first. You can't see everything, just say something. I'm talking to if you're handling an aggressive dog, say something, you know, walk through the door, dog, right? Now everybody knows, watch out. Walk through the hallway. We can't have any more of this with aggressive dogs inside. I mean, the potential for this dog throwing me off balance is higher because of the weight differential on the leash. I have one hand barely on the dog. The dogs tell me where to go at this point. When the dog's super, you know, new here, they're going to be checking everything out. They're going to be pulling each way. You want to minimize the direction that the dog can adventure inside and sniff stuff and go over to another kennel, fence fight, whatever. You have a big dog like Zeta, you're inside, you're a new handler. If you're doing this, like, like I said, the chances of you getting into something or her pulling you over are huge. The floors are slippery, right? Somebody mopped, whatever. It's just, you want to keep balance and center of gravity. They're never going to want to go to what's not causing them pressure. They're never going to turn on something that's not putting pressure on them. So, new dogs specifically, they're going to probably be looking for a way out of here. That's what most of them are looking for. So, if you're keeping their vision straight, they're not looking at you. It's not, they're not going to care about you. I want to do the opposite of what we did when we took the dog out. So now, if I pull forward, that's pressure this way. And the dog will probably back up and get kind of confused. The dog's going in, you can already start loosening the leash.